What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is five more website designs I think every web designer should see. These are the absolute best, they're super cool. I'm gonna share with you my favorites right now. All right, our first site of the day is samuelday.de. It welcomes us with this really cool kind of very stylized curtain that opens on load. Um, and we get this gritty illustration style. So I don't know much about Samuel Day. I don't know who he is or what he does, but I can tell that he's very, very creative and he's wanting to give me more of an experience and less of a website that just has kind of some bland information. And it says, inside the mind of Samuel Day, which here, I love this so much. This next interaction would not make sense if it didn't say inside the mind of Samuel Day, because as we start to scroll, which is what our little cursor effect tells us to do, we actually zoom into the mind of Samuel Day and it animates into the next scene. Again, it says, hi, I'm Sam. And we just keep scrolling. We get so much stuff. It says, I am an award-winning designer. Okay, you should be with the amount of work and awesomeness that you put into this based in Berlin. And so this is so much work put into just those few statements. This is who I am. I'm a designer. I'm based in Berlin. So this really is to me more of an experience and less of a site, but I can roll over certain things and you don't even realize that as you roll over them, you're able to click on any one of these to explore a project. Like for instance, let's do this one, all hands. Click on that. Coming soon, okay. We can click on this one and it's just gonna send me out to the actual design. And he does beautiful design work. So now I'm, I'm being made aware that he does web design, digital design, and he also has the ability to really step outside the box with a lot of different things here. Um, and so those are all the different projects. I love that approach to showing projects. Really, really cool. Again, interactive, like an experience. And I scroll all the way down and I'm now stepping outside of the mind and I can get in touch with him and I can even pull this little curtain just to get one more fun little interaction. He didn't need to do that. He totally did. He went there. He just blew minds right now pow, 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 with how amazing this portfolio and this site is. Samuel Day, insane, insane. I love it. Okay, let's move on to our next site and this is Loft Garten and uh, man, it's all about front end, or excuse me, it's all about being on the forefront of experience design in a place where you help visualize your product through the use of high-end 3D imagery and motion design. So when you read that, you're kind of expecting, okay, we're gonna see some really cool stuff, but I just, first off the bat, I just love the imagery and the big, like, I mean, we're talking over, over, oversized typography here at Loftgarten. Um, really, really cool. And the, the layout is interesting, it's cool. Um, you know, it's not like the most mind blowing thing, but the whole thing just comes together in this really clean way. Their, their exploration of typography um, and using it in, they've just gotten so far away from the boring bootstrap web 2.0 style that we got all got used to and got really comfortable in. And they've really started exploring how can we have fun? And you might be thinking, yeah, but is it mobile? And the answer is yes, it is mobile. So let's reload it on more of a mobile size. And sure enough, you get it in a mobile size as well, which is really cool. You Actually, you can't scroll here. You can just go here and see projects. So it kind of removes a lot of that extraneous navigation and allows us to jump into certain projects like this on the mobile. Really, really cool. Again, beautiful use of imagery, typography, gorgeous layout. Um, it's just really creative and fun and clean and simple. Does It does exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, moving on to glencatchy.com. This is a visual designer based in Belgium. Again, kind of exploring, I wouldn't quite call this a brutalism style, but definitely a unique style to him. Um, and really, everything's just really like brought together in this kind of gritty geometric style images um, being all kind of like black and white. There's some fun interaction here with the shapes as you scroll around um, and layouts gorgeous. Just really nice balance of small, large typography, um, fun interactions as we scroll over things. So just a little bit of 
a little bit of fun kind of extracurricular code going on. Didn't need to have this as a hover effect, but he totally popped that in there. And it's just really, ah, man, it's beautiful. It feels very high end. It feels, um, you know, really, really expensive, I would say, but also very, wow, look at that interaction as we scroll down. That is super fun. So again, really cool use of 3D here in just our mouse hover interactions so that we can normalize. Whoa, we can move into neon and just restylize everything with neon. I feel like that's a common theme we're seeing in a lot of these really fun experimental portfolios, especially, which is being able to change like color themes. Um, totally doesn't have to happen, but they're making it happen. And it's just beautiful, beautiful work. So. Um, I love the development is done by somebody named Roger de Boev. I messed that name up. Boev, maybe. But uh, hey, together as a team, they crushed it. They came together and did something really, really awesome. So hey, great job to the both of you for this awesome site. Let's move on to another really beautiful example of layout. This is chungyu.com. I might be saying that wrong, but everything about this site is right. Everything about this site is exciting and amazing, and ugh, I just can't get enough of this site. The typography choice, gorgeous. The layouts using typography on typography. There's no imagery here. It's just all typography with a couple cute little elements. Um, and that's as simple as it needs to be with this beautiful color palette. The whole thing is just gorgeous. Uh, director and illustrator. And it has this really fun kind of tabbed style that I, I wasn't expecting as I scrolled down. But again, just subtle use of uh, animation. And again, really engaging the typography with the animation. Really clever, really, really fun. We scroll down again, clicking for more here and that opens something up. Again, wow, just again with the typography, closing little bits up, and then I just cannot get enough of the oversized text mixed with these really fun kind of hand-drawn things, um, all these little elements that pop into place. I really wanna see that again, because that animated in, didn't it? Let's scroll down and see that animating piece one more time and it just drew around there. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Then we get some of the work, and that's just kind of subtly scrolling up into place. This is an exploration of the illustrations that this designer does. Okay, like different kind of projects. Each of these projects, really gorgeous how they're presented. As I scroll down, it's kind of capturing my scroll a little bit and just kind of bringing me to the project. Oh, I love it. Um, what an absolutely, beautiful use of color, animation, typography, um, micro interactions, everything about it is so fun, but really elegant and smooth at the same time. So Chungi Yu, beautiful work. I cannot get enough of the site. I just keep coming back to it over and over. All right, last one for the day is called weareimperio.com. This is a creative agency that is using, again, some more fun 3D stuff, animation, and big, large kind of typography. The color palette is simple, it's bright, um, and the whole thing just comes together really, really nice. It kind of has this kind of like wobble effect as we scroll over it. I just can't even believe the amount of work that would go into something like that um, just to make that little bit of kind of impression. As you scroll, it's gonna rework the 3D element that's fully interactive. So again, there's a very a trending theme here of interaction, animation, 3D elements um, that just, it's for wow factor and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It gives me that wow factor. Look, here it is again. Every single piece or element of this thing as we scroll down is interactable, which is super fun. The typography is really, really cool. And then we move down to this beautiful colored area, which is, it feels like a surprise, right? Um, the juxtaposition of like the dark kind of background, um, just white text and this geometric kind of interactive element, and boom, all of a sudden you're into this beautiful color palette. Um, it's just insane. And each one of them, as you scroll down, the color's gonna change to match the branding of the company that they worked on, which is such a cool idea. It just, it's immersive. Um, it's fun and it keeps you engaged as you scroll down. It makes me want to be a client, really, because I'm like, look how well they'll present me on their own site. They're guaranteed to do a good job um, with my actual product. So everything about this is just really spectacular. Um, it's just a fun use of lots of different elements. Like we have drag gestures, horizontal scrolling, um, but we also have like really fun kind of black and white, simple stuff, the color, the branding, everything is brought into just one really beautiful experience that makes me, 
it's funny because you wouldn't look at this, the color palette or the implementation of it and say it's really trustworthy, but because of how smooth and clean and well put together everything is, it gives me this sense of trust. I just can't get enough of this site. I love it so much. I love it. Nothing else to say about it. Good job, Imperio. Well, that's it. Those are five more website designs that I think every website designer should be looking at right now. Which one was your favorite out of these five? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about web design just like this one. So hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon, so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're inspired to start creating today. I'll see you in the next one.